So with Apple's WWDC out of the way, Google will be hosting its own I.O. developer conference tomorrow to let the world know about all the exciting products and developments they plan on bringing to the public in the near future. Although we won't know for sure until we actually get there, here are our top picks for the coolest features Google could be announcing tomorrow. First up, many are expecting Google to launch their version of an answer to Siri tomorrow. Potentially called Google Assistant, the service would leverage their already powerful voice recognition technology in a more refined platform than the current Google Voice Actions service. Google Voice Actions already beats out Siri in speed and accuracy in a number of categories, albeit without Siri's sultry voice to help deliver the message. Next, a closer look at Google Glass is also expected. Although Google made it clear that the augmented reality specs probably won't be ready for launch until next year, we will probably get a better idea of the features that could be making their way into the platform when it finally does become available. Another exciting but highly speculative possibility is that Google Wallet will be shifting from a near-field communication service to a cloud-based payment solution. The product would likely be a clear competitor to PayPal, and it would be interesting to see what the tech giant might be able to do to shake up PayPal's near ubiquitous dominance of the online transaction sphere. Finally, Google is expected to unveil the latest iteration of Android Android. Codenamed Jellybean, this release is expected to be version 4.1 of Android, not version 5, providing modest updates to Ice Cream Sandwich and potentially a few cool new features to toy around with. Things like a major reboot to Google TV, a new Maps app for iOS, and a Google-branded Nexus tablet built by Asus are also expected as part of the announcements, but we'll just have to wait and see. But which of these new products or features are you guys most interested in? Leave a comment and let us know your thoughts, and we'll see you next time on Ask Matt.